Hi everybody, Marie here for some Real Talk with Coffee, and I'm here today to talk about lowering expectations. And I will say I come um, from the background of being a teacher most of my career, and in the world of education, the idea of lowering expectations is like this huge taboo, because the idea is we need to raise our expectations so that our students can meet it. And I think sometimes in parenting we have sort of the same effect. A lot of parents, we talk about wanting to have high expectations for our children, or have, you know, expecting really you know, excellent behavior or responses from our children. And so I think that I wanted to come on today to talk about lowering expectations and sort of give blanket acceptance that um, sometimes, and I think often, one of the healthiest things we can do for ourselves and our families and our work and everything else is to actually take a moment and look at what we're expecting and then lower those expectations. And here's what I mean. Um, you know, I, whenever we get so caught up in doing everything, everything at work or being on these committees or just trying to do a really impeccable job on our work and also being super present for our kids or making certain kinds of food or being a good partner or spouse, oh, there's a lot of things that we want to do well at that we have high expectations for ourselves with. And... A lot of when we have high expectations for ourselves and we're just racing, racing, working, working to meet those expectations as impossible as they may be sometimes, then we also get super mad and resentful at the other people in our lives that we don't see maybe as working that hard. Even if they are, we may not see it. And so, you know, when we raise expectations for ourselves and we raise expectations for everyone around us, I think those two things are tied together. And what I have found is that um, when I talk to folks about, uh, you know, how they're feeling and what they're doing in terms of work-life family balance, a constant thing that comes up is everyone feels like they are racing and working so hard and still are not good enough. And there's usually somebody in their life they're resentful towards or feeling angry about that person maybe not doing as much or not working as hard, not meeting their expectations. And I think those two things are tied together. So I think we give ourselves a gift when we lower our expectations for ourselves, not to lower them to the point of saying, I'm just going to do nothing and peace out, but instead lowering our expectations to say, okay, um, what am I going to just get done, but at a lower quality than I would like? Or what is good enough parenting going to look like this week? What's good enough work going to look like this week? Lowering those expectations. And I think when we lower those expectations for ourselves, what we're really doing is we're giving ourselves grace. We're giving ourselves permission to breathe. And we're giving ourselves permission and acceptance to be imperfect, to be less ideal, to not have to race and work so hard to prove our worth. And the beautiful thing that happens when we do that, when we lower expectations for ourselves with intention and grace, not out of crisis mode, but at lowering expectations with intention and with grace, we start to be able to transfer that same grace to other people in our lives. So when other people don't meet our expectations, we can take a minute and think, okay, what do I need to do with that? How can I you know, appre like notice that with grace? Maybe it means we don't rely on people we wish we could rely on. But it can also mean that we don't get so caught up in resentment and anger that we cease to function. So I want you to think about ways to lower your expectations for yourself with intention and grace, but also getting clear about what your expectations are of other people. And will you be happier or will you be able to spend more time and energy on what matters most if you can lower those expectations as well? And those are my thoughts today for some real talk with coffee. Um, and, you know, as usual, I might come back and rethink that statement at some point. But I think it's just something I'm thinking about today and processing today. And I wanted to come share it with all of you. Thanks so much.